What's up gamers, Jem here and welcome to the first look for Everspace. Now first things first, this game does not have a 4K mode but the developers said they will add a 4K option soon. I don't know what, what day they'll release it, they just said soon. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And also, if we go to options, not only can you actually see the resolution, but if you go into advanced, it says that we'll, we're playing on like epic settings, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, let's just begin with the game. I'm going to play with controller. Uh, I prefer playing with controller in most games anyways, or if possible, all games. But, uh, you know, there are just some games where you need to use mouse and keyboard where, where you have a more advantage. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's go to controller, let's hit new game. Our controller doesn't even work on the menu? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, now it works on the menu. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> uh, would you like to start the game in first or third person? You can change the camera during gameplay at any time. Uh, oh my god, I don't know. Let's, let's just do first. The game is played with... Oh, the game is best played with mouse and keyboard. When using controller, would you like to play with uh, Y axis inverted? Uh, no, I don't want inverted, but it's saying it's best played with mouse and keyboard. You know what? I will take uh, the developer's advice and I will switch to mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so forget about my controller thing that I was just talking about. Mouse and keyboard, it is. Something's then. not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Oh, was that it? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> wow, this is really smooth. Pilot requires further training. Let me just quickly try with the controller real quick. Assistance. Stand by. Uh, it's it still plays well with the controller, but I'm still going to use mouse and keyboard because that's what they said to use. Uh, they recommend. It's really interesting right now. Perfect game for VR, I guess. <laughs> Let's oh, begin by shooting I went way targets. too quick. Well, that seems easy enough. So now we're just shooting some targets. I haven't really checked out, next have you shields. know, the tr First even the gameplay the trailer, so I actually don't know shields. what this game is about. <laughs> when the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. Select next primary. Okay, I see Gatling. Oh, wheel, wheel down also does the same thing. Cool. Where do I go? Let's go here. It's a bit... It's a bit weird to travel. Oh my god. There we go. So there's something here. On the next targets, set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. I'm guessing it's gonna be right click. Oh, it's middle button. Okay, never mind. Wait, press middle button to lock and then right click to shoot. Okay, where, the, where is this being? Ooh, wow, it destroyed it in one hit. Oh, I only have 12 missiles left, it's not unlimited. Oh, that's really cool. It's really it simple. As if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Okay, so let's go here. Is that a loading? S oh, it's a loading bar if I just hover my mouse over it. Cool. Uh, 
Well, that's... Oh, no, I can go other places. I can only go these two. So let's just go to this one. It's a really beautiful game. I would love to see this in 4K once the update comes out. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Fill up your jump drive. Shoot the asteroid to collect enough fuel. There's no point of using missile because I don't want to uh, uh, waste it. So holding shift makes you go faster. Oh, there's fuel here. Oh, there's actual destruction physics. It's really cool. Some here, fuel 20. That's really cool. So I've reached my fuel that limit. Do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it, is it takes a while to get used to the controls resources. of flying in space. So I'm holding shift to uh, go faster in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I have located a container at some distance. Do I shoot it? Okay, shoot the container to open. Resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Uh, open the tab. Wait, let me read it. Uh, open tab. You can drop or salvage items. You can also press F. It's floating equipment that can't be pressed to compare. Oh, it's a weapon. Beam laser. Um, so is it? Wait, it it wants to replace my pulse laser, but I don't even I don't even have it equipped. Sure, let's let's just let's just do that then. Uh, swap, and then salvage the pulse laser. There is an outlaw ship yeah, I did that correctly. Nice. I would advise activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the There we go, this is the beam laser. And it looks like it's unlimited ammo as well. Oh, you could draw on it. <laughs> wow, it, it actually makes the drawings. Oh my god, I'm getting shot. What do you say? <laughs> I'm going back to Gatling. <laughs> I think Gatling has longer range. It appears, I just want that fuel. That we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Okay, let's go to the next location. Let's go for the loading bar. <laughs> And we could travel up or down. It doesn't like. Can I travel back? Okay, I can't travel back. It seems I could go. I could only go forward, not backwards. But it doesn't tell me like. Like what is here? You know, like something like is it node space? Is there is there gonna be enemies? So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go top. Just gonna constantly go top. See what happens. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more. So there's some there. enemies there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Boosting, f firing primary weapons and using device consumes energy. Pay attention to the energy bar below the crosshair. It might be smart enough. Smart to wait for the energy to recharge before going to the next fight. Bring your ship to a full stop in order to increase the recharge speed. Okay. Oh, I see. What's when I when I use shift, it goes down. Brady I see it. Brunt the prospects. green bar. Corporate BMOF and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Oh, I'm getting shot. I'm going to fire some missiles at these. Their jump gates and mining drones frequently. Uh, 
Uh, it's so weird. I can't find the enemy. No. I don't even know where my health bar is. That's, I'm shooting some rockets at this dude. Whoa, that looked so cool. Okay. Oh, damage to ship components. One one of your ship's main components was damaged and not fully functional. You can repair it via repair menu, which I do not know how to do. It didn't teach me. Oh, this w Okay, this kind of works. There we go. That looks. The explosions look so good. Uh, do not. No, no, no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Where's the items that are floating in space? Uh, how do I repair? Oh, did it say tab? Oh, right, here we are. Repair menu. Uh, repair. I've no idea. I'm clicking. <laughs> I'm clicking that. Clicking this. So shield generator needs repaired. Required resources? No. Oh, oh, I see ya. <sighs> oh, it works with right click, not left click. I see. I've been left clicking these. Oh no, it does work with left click. What the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, required resources. I need crystal. I don't have crystal. So I can't repair it? Just making sure. No, it doesn't look like I can repair it. It does say I need nanobots and crystal, but I'm not sure if... Like, the thing is, even these tell me I need the crystal and plasma and stuff, but I don't need to repair these, so I'm confused on what, how do I repair this stuff. Nanobots. Do I just drag now? Okay, maybe maybe later in the game it will teach me. Let's just go. Where's the other enemies? Okay, there they are. I'm just gonna go in. Just yolo it. Oh, they take a lot of hit. Well, that was dumb. Didn't you know all humans in the direct vicinity would react negatively if you attack one? I can see that now, thanks. Uh, your ship's heavily damaged. You may consider boosting out of combat situations and open the in-game menu to repair. Repairing your hull costs nanobots. Yeah, but I don't have any nanobots. Uh oh. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Welcome to Ever Space, the achievement says. Die. <laughs> okay, I guess the game knew that I was gonna die. Okay, back to hangar. I pressed F. Okay. I, I this there's this problem with this game right now where I'm pressing the keyboard buttons. I'm pressing left click. I'm pressing right click. It's not registering, and then eventually it registers. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like here it says F. Okay, now it worked. But before in that loading screen I was just in, or, or the death screen, I pressed F three times. It didn't work. So I thought, what if I just click on it and then it worked? So there's like this disconnect between keyboard and mouse. It's like it's registering as like two different controllers. Um, Hopefully they can fix that because I don't think that's me. Uh, let's see. So you got perks, uh, ships. We can level up, it seems. With credits. I'm just gonna launch. Wait. Okay, there are still perks. Okay, I don't want to launch. Um. Energy capacity increases your total energy. I don't need that yet. Increased amount of credits found. That could be useful. Adds additional information to the sector map. I see. So this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the game. It would be nice if there was more information on the map. And it looks like it's here. So it's an unlockable. That's, that's good to know. Uh, well, I wonder if it's the green ones I can actually upgrade. Because I have the resources. 
I'm just double checking. It looks like it. Yeah, it's the green ones that I can actually upgrade because I've got the resources. Yeah, let's increase uh, our health. And that's it. That's the only thing we can do. Uh, easy, cling to your life. No, let's just do normal. Maybe I was supposed to die at the beginning of the game. Maybe it's one of those games. I keep saying that in like this most time. Stadia games. Because <laughs> I did get an achievement and it said welcome to Everspace. Now I'm getting like challenges and stuff. So we got this outlaw. Let's just go closer. This kind of reminds me of um, what happened to my gun. My gun is gone. Oh my god. There we go. This reminds me of a uh, No Man's Sky. Although I haven't played No Man's Sky in space, I've only played on planets. But this reminds me of like No Man's Sky Space Edition. <laughs> there was something I saw here. Do you reckon there's anything salvageable on this freighter? Probably. But I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm. Okay, let's go for the scouts more. Oh, there's plasma shield here. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. I do like the narration with like some robot as well. It's quite helpful as well. It, it appears we have stumbled upon an outdoor base. Scavengers are to the demilitarized zone using I'm not sure why I lost operations. my primary weapon. So if you die you get you go back to default. Maybe it's worth the risk. Because I did enjoy the laser. Some scrap here. Oh, I'm getting shot from this dude. Oh, it's just a drone. Oh, there's more stuff here. There's fuel. Oh, I'm shooting the wrong thing. You are acquiring a taste for castoffs by the looks of things. Oh, is that just floating? I thought it was one of those nodes where you just shoot. Okay, fuel limit reached. I'm just hitting stuff right now. Let's go to the next next zone. Obstacle blocks the way. So you need line of sight. There we go. What if I just go into it? If I can. Oh, I guess it's outside the map. You can't actually go there. Oh, this, it's not the same map, so I'm in a different place now. It still says Sector 1, but I'm in a different place. So it says Unknown Risk and then Jump Gate. Let's go down this time. Let's see what's at the bottom. So maybe the world is like randomly generated. I'm not sure. A jump suppressor is active nearby. That's not good. We'll do something about it. Find so it the yellow the ones the the don't fight the yellow the ones because you don't need to. get get Kill the red ones. Jumping suppress signal. There seems to be like some sort of war going on. So the yellow ones, I think they only attack you if you attack them. Managed to get the only contract in the DMZ. They were first on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far, you have collected enough resources for crafting. Working relationship with the colonial fleet was undoubtedly a factor. Okay. Jumping suppress signal 44%. It looks like I have to go somewhere. What's this? That's just what I need. Uh-oh. Dude, I didn't mean to shoot your ship. I just wanted that thing. Oh god damn it. I need to fly away. <laughs> I just wanted the chest. I didn't expect to shoot the ship. 
You've been detected. Result. Are they still chasing me? Oh no, they are. Damn it. I might die again. Unless I use my rockets. There's a shield down there. Radiant Brunt have broadcast an emergency signal. Uh oh. Sorry, I had no choice. Uh, which one's better? Swap, salvage, salvage. Oh my god, these guys are so difficult to kill. Oh no, I think they're coming for me. GNB are hostile, watch out it says. Something's going on here. Oh, I'm out of uh, missiles and spent it all. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Well, I'm really bad at this game, it seems. But I do want to play this again when it's in 4K. I'm, I want to see what the space looks like. But I am... So even if you die, you still get like all your points. And it's, it's basically like a game over screen, but you keep uh, your points, your credits, so you can still upgrade and come back. So it's similar to like Risk of Rain, but you actually keep uh, stuff and you can upgrade your character and then replay. New, uh, not new level, how do I explain it? You replay your level but randomly generated it seems. Uh, I'm gonna advance that as well. Oh, do I need to do that four times? Oh, it seems like I do. Oh well. Let's do that as well. And this. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, Everspace. Um, so it, it takes a while to get used to this game. I, I enjoyed it. It's just that it's better if I had read upon what this game was about and stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to actually play this again. I'm going to make another video in the future once 4K is out for this game and make a, you know, a second look series. This is a really cool game and it's free on Stadia Pro. Uh, it's a very beautiful game as well. There's a lot of stuff you can level up. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good game. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. This is Jem, and I'll see you on the next one.